Heavy gunfire has erupted again in the South Sudanese capital, Juba. That's where fighting between rival factions has left close to 275 people dead since just Thursday. Government has urged the public to remain calm. A government source says at least 33 of the dead were civilians and that many residents were seeking shelter at a UN base. The government spokesman is urging people not to panic, saying the situation is under control, but calling on residents to go back to their homes and stay inside. The violence broke out Thursday and Friday between troops loyal to President Salva Kiir and soldiers who support his political opponent, former rebel leader and now Vice President Riek Mashar. The two men were briefing reporters Friday about peace talks when more gunfire broke out. The violence raises fears that South Sudan could slide back into conflict after emerging from a two-year civil war that started in 2013 after Kiir sacked Mashar as vice president. Neighboring Kenya is calling for urgent action by the two leaders to move troops away from civilians and end the crisis.